evening the college youth with bongi my name is bongi gila hala hala and today as you guys have seen by the title of the video so basically what's happening here is this is a new segment where i am going to be rating the experience that i had with tippet colleges that i've been to um and i've only been to about three and i'm actually loving the hopping from tippet college to tippet college and you know having different experiences uh so i digress I am going to be rating these three type of colleges that I've been to, which is Goldfields, Ikala, and City Bay. I am going to be rating my experience with them, and uh, it's going to be based on the registration process, uh, teaching and learning. There's a third one. Yeah, there's a third one. Um, I can't remember it, but I'm going to try to remember it, and I'm going to tell you guys about it on my next video, because this segment is here to stay my darlings so today as you guys now have seen by the title of the video we are going to be rating the registration process experience that i had at goldsville state college so without wasting time let's rate goldfields to the college so goldfields to the college is based in Belgium. It is the first ever Tibet College that I've ever been to. For those of you that don't know, those of you who, who have not watched my other videos, my previous videos, please do watch them so that you know uh, about a lot of things that we're going to be talking about here because I'm going to be mentioning those Tibet Colleges a lot because they are part of my experience, right? So in both fields is my alma mater and I um, did there my NCV, the NCV program that I did, I did it at at Goldfield Stephen College and then I did Nated. So the last uh, level that I did with Goldfield Stephen College was uh, Electrical Engineering and 2 and I did that in 2020, 2020 at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of the year. So the registration process between the three colleges that I've been to that I mentioned uh, Goldfields is by far the worst. I know I only have good things to say about Goldfields, but the uh, registration process is the worst. So they have different stations. Uh, the first station is where you get your results. If you are a returning student, uh, the first station is where you get your results. The second station is where you um, you choose or the classes that show different courses outside so if you're doing electrical engineering you will be in this class if you're doing a uh, mechanical civil and whatnot you'll be in that class uh, so they have that that's your second station then your third station is you go now to the hall where you get where they capture your results no you go to the hall where they ca capture your information, but okay, I paid registration. This is the course that I want to do. This is, um, these are my documents. Then they tell you, then they give you a proof of registration. That's station number three, right? The hall is station number three. Station number four is where you get your books, right? Do you get your books first? No, station number four is where you get your student card. Then station number five is where you get your books. Then you start with the classes. So like I mentioned earlier, a registration process, yes, Goldfields, Neasa, City Bank is pretty much the same. But let me tell you why Goldfields takes number three on this one. <laughs> Guys, at Goldfields, there are ridiculous cues that I feel are unnecessary, right? If there are registrations at, at Goldfields, you will see, you will know whether you are registering or not, whether you're passing by, you will see by the ridiculous cues from outside the gate going inside. I don't know if it was because of COVID. Maybe it was, but COVID or not, even before COVID, Goldfields has always had those long queues outside the gate. I don't know what their reason is. I really don't know. But I'm going to tell you how Ekala does it so well, that so much that I think other colleges should copy how Ekala does it. Okay. Uh, so there's this long queue 
where you wait outside before you could go in. Whether you're here for your results or you are here for to register for the first time, you will be in the same queue. Then they will only divide you when you get inside. That Those lines are really unnecessary. I think having people outside like that on a ridiculous long queue is unnecessary. That's what I feel, right? I want to mention one thing that I loved about the registration time yeah, gold fields. It is that, and it is that they have police police vans on campus where uh, if you need an affidavit, you just go to the van, get an affidavit, where you have documents that need to be certified and you didn't know that you needed to certify whatever document that you need, you just go to the police van and they assist you. We fast in a hurry. Um, that's the good thing I noted and I liked about Goldfield. So you don't have to go far, especially our campus, because the engineering campus was very far from everything, far from the police station, far from town, far from a lot of places. So they made really uh, the work really easy for us. We would make copies inside the campus and would get everything certified inside the campus. So that was my registration process experience at Goldfield and from a scale of uh, 1 to 10 I would give it 4. I really didn't like it. I, I think it was a bad experience. If there's any of you that goes to Goldfield right now or at the moment and the registration process has changed and it has now become better or whatever, please let us know how they do it now and uh, rate it for us. Tell us how much would you give them between 1 and 10? That is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Or oh, um, want to ask you guys, what is it that you would like me to rate? Uh, please comment down below. Tell me what it is that you would like me to rate uh, my experience on from the Tibet colleges that I've been in. Uh, if maybe it's something you would like to know, uh, how it goes and whatnot. Comment down below and let me know. And if you have gotten to this part of the video, please comment with my favorite emoji. I don't know what that emoji is called, but that, that emoji. You guys know it. You've used it before. Please comment with that emoji and let us spread the love on the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please like this video. And please, like I already said, if you don't have anything to say and you've gotten, this part of, and you've gotten to this part of the video, comment with my favorite emoji. From me to you right now, it is goodbye. I will see you on my next video. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.